Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, The Arch Crafter. And today I have got a little bit of an update for you guys, um, sort of what we've been up to and I know I normally record that on a Sunday, which was yesterday, but yeah, I just, yeah, I was just too tired. So I thought I'll uh, get up uh, this morning, being Monday, and I thought, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do a bit of a, a catch up with everybody. Um, today I am working on my Diamond Art Club, my uh, Full Bloom, uh, one of the Christmas presents from my husband. So I have worked my way along to this red tree. Um, I've already done the blue, the orange and the purple, well the top row anyway. I've been doing some of the green for the middle strip and then I'll move down this bit and uh, do the, uh, well I wouldn't say the, the reflections because the other half is not um, a true reflection so um, it's not the same colours is what I'm meaning it's um, sort of opposite to what they would be so this red one oh, is in fact the red one <laughs> but this blue one back here this is a red a brown It's a rusty, a rusty red, but this orange one over here, the orange one, the reflection is the green tree. So, uh, yeah, not a true reflection, but um, yeah, that's what uh, a lot of people are saying. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll be be getting onto that when I've done this red one and then this yellowy yellowy greeny one and then I'll probably do the rest of the green here all it, excuse me all in one and then I can move all the canvas up so yeah I am really really enjoying working on this uh, Diamond Art Club um, as you guys probably saw from the unboxing the canvas is unreal it's so soft um, so, yeah um, I've had quite a few comments about um, my excitement and enthusiasm and Another lady commented saying, um, you'll never forget your first Diamond Art Club, which I think is absolutely true. Um, but I'll probably be getting some more in the new year. Um, it's been going around on social media that um, they're doing a buy two, get one free at the moment. So I'm really considering doing that, but um, my husband said about waiting for January, possibly a big January sales. Um, I'm not too sure how Diamond Art Club work. This is my first one, so um, I know a lot of people at the moment unboxing and doing their um, Black Friday sales unboxings on their Diamond Art Clubs um, so yeah I really need to uh, get into watching those so if you can hear that Post possibly, or it might be my husband getting home. 
Either way, I'm not sure. See what uh, what comes in January for them and our club. So, but anyway, let's get on with the catch up and what we have been up to and how we have celebrated Christmas. So, uh, Monday, so that would have been the twenty first. In the morning, I did some cross stitching. I was working on Winnie the Pooh for my Disney cross stitch subscription. Um, I think I don't know if it was this week or the week before, but I did the um, starting of Winnie the Pooh, working out the start point, and we actually started in one of his ears and. To work our way down the character <clears throat> so i've got most i've got the character himself done now uh, winnie the pooh and i've just got to do the barter and then i shall be on to the next character which is pinocchio but there's that much i think i'm not sure how many colors there is for pinocchio but he, he goes over three magazines, does Pinocchio. I think the first one you start with the bottom half of him, so his feet and his legs. Then you do the top half in the second magazine. And then the third one, I think you do the floor and the border so he goes over three magazines does Pinocchio whereas most of the characters have been over two magazines so far so but he's over three this time so once I've done the border I shall get on and do a recording of showing you Winnie the Pooh and starting for that coming soon because like I said I've just got the border to finish so possibly have that finished today depending what I do this afternoon um, but then on Monday we had a delivery it was in fact this diamond art club um, it came in the post um, told my husband, I put it up in his little room, his bear cave and left it at that. He said, uh, right, I've got some wrapping to do this afternoon, so you know, we need to decide what we're doing and what everybody else is doing and you know, he said to get everybody out of the way so I could wrap it. <laughs> and then we started doing dinner and whilst we were eating dinner my husband said right you've got an unboxing to do this afternoon box it he's like yeah i want you to start the diamond art club i'm like i can't it's part of my christmas and you know my presents and he's like no i know your excitement you can't wait this diamond art club so we're going to go up after dinner you're going to do a recording i'm going to sit with you and watch you unbox it and then for the afternoon then you can kit it up so that's what we did for the rest of the day um once i'd finished recording i set it to edit and then i started finding containers and labels and yeah so i sat down and pulled all the colors out uh, pulled them all back out of the bag and then f realized about the sticker i thought okay i don't need labels 
So yeah, I got some of my, um, excuse me, the different sized containers out from the tray that I bought. All the different sizes and then I had some of the little Tic Tac containers and I found out every single container that I had spare. Every container going. And I still didn't have enough because this canvas has 48 colours. So yeah, I ended up using some of the little baggies that came with the kit. <clears throat> so yeah, I spent all afternoon kitting up. Had to stop for tea. And then I think I spent then most of the evening finishing kitting up and finding a tray out so I could lay them all out and see all the symbols and yeah so that's what I did on Monday. <laughs> oh dear me. So then on Tuesday, the 22nd, I worked a little bit more on the Pooh Bear cross stitch. Sorry, I just need some more of this colour. So I worked a little bit more on the Pooh Bear cross stitch. Because um, I like to cross stitch on the morning with the natural light. I'm sure I've told you so hundreds of times already. So yeah, I did a little bit more on him and then in the afternoon uh, I actually started this. I think it was the 22nd I started. I'm sure it was. Because um, I did a video starting full bloom video. Did a little bit of a catch up on that day as well. Talking about what we'd been doing and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I did a little bit of a starting video. I don't think it was very long. Maybe 15 minutes tops. But, yeah, I did the starting video and then read on then for the rest of the day with this and yeah that was pretty much Tuesday so the Wednesday the day before Christmas Eve so the 23rd I did some cleaning in the morning and then we had a chat with the Happy Family group, our own little family, and we opened our gifts from one another. We sort of took it in turns and Everybody was like, open hours next, open hours next, and yeah, it was a bit <laughs> it was a bit chaotic to begin with until we uh until we got organized. But, um, so yeah, we just kind of went round the the where the uh screens were laid out. So that's Eight, eight or nine of us. Um, me and my husband were on one. Dave and Chris were on one, and then there's everybody else. Johnny Dave on one, Danny on one, Jason on one, Penny on one, Holix on one. So. A gift opening session 
Because <laughs> there'd, there'd have been no other time, really. Um, but anyway, backtracking a little bit. Uh, me and Penny had our diamond painting live. So that was at two o'clock. We only did an hour this time because we had nothing really to work on. We didn't want to start new projects until we get into next year. Um, so the only thing really was to work on was the uh, tags. But obviously there were peasant tags and kind of already been done and wrapped and yeah, and sent out really so we just had a chat so that was Wednesday's diamond painting show we just uh, chit chatted with you all really um, Penny was telling us about her um, project that she's doing in her new room Yeah, just telling everybody Christmas plans and, <gasps> and things like that, so yeah, and then like I say we had our chit chat and then well no sorry. We had the diamond painting live. Then we had some tea, so we had something to eat. And then I think it was later on about seven o'clock when we had our chat and then by the time we'd opened everything and had a bit of a catch up with each other it was time for Penny's Rope Master Live Penny and uh, all that goes on and helps her and reads the instructions and gives advice and bits and bobs so yeah, I was uh, working on this while I was listening to Penny and Horlicks. Um, and then, yeah, that was uh, pretty much Wednesday, really. Um, when I'm watching any of the lives, I tend to be working on something, whether it's diamond painting or cross stitch or I think I've even coloured before while a live's been on but yeah glance up every now and again and check that everybody's behaving um, sort of rude comments or anybody being mean or Christine job making sure everybody's safe um, so yeah that was uh, pretty much Wednesday um, then on the Thursday the 24th Christmas Eve I was working on my cross stitch again for a little bit but then I wanted to get a bath and um, put some fresh bedding on and everything, you know, ready for Christmas Day, all fresh and clean. So I went and had my bath. Uh, husband got up in that time while I was having my bath. So I've done that, I changed the bedding. And clean um, and then then when I went back downstairs then there was I think an hour before dinner so I said right I'll do a little bit more on this cross stitch because it's not quite dinner time yet so I sat and did a little bit more and then dinner time so I put all my stitching away put it away in my little bag and little wallet thing and then 
I got on with dinner. What else we'd had at dinner? What did we do? Uh, in the evening. There was no live or anything, so I'm just trying to think of what we did. Oh, I think I diamond painted a little bit. Yeah, I, I diamond painted. Today was in the evening, and that's why I've got so much of this done. But if I can at the end, um, I'll try and move the camera back so you can see the progress that I've got on this so far. That's if I remember. I said I was going to show you something last time and I forgot. So, uh, yeah, I'll try and show you how much progress I've got on this done. So, yeah, I've been working on it on and off, and obviously, I didn't do any crafting or anything Christmas Day. So, so yeah, we'll get on to, uh, to Christmas Day now. Um, Got up, had a coffee, um, my husband, it was about 10 o'clock, 10, 10 o'clock my husband got up so he made himself his coffee and I think I was still drinking a bit of mine, I think I had about half left. And I'd done uh, making sure the animals had all their breakfast and Thing like that, so he said, Right, I suppose we better uh, open some presents. So we all sat in the living room, we were all taking in turns to open. So we read the tag or the writing on the present, who it's from, so we can sort of jog who's got us what. And so we took it in turns and did that. And then when we'd finished opening presents my husband said right i'll go put the croissants in the oven because that's what we have christmas morning for breakfast warm croissants and butter just plain butter um, so yeah we had that then when we'd finished those we said right we best best uh, crack on and get these veggies done and meat on and my husband just got um, like a turkey crown and it had uh, stuffing inside and things like that so we got on doing the veg and getting all that prepared and put into pans and ready on the uh, Hobs on the rings in the top of the ovens, um, and then excuse me. And then he said, Right, let's uh, look at this bird and this turkey and see, see what we're doing. Um, and then my husband gasped, He's like, Okay, I didn't think it'd let it take this long to cook, but hey, never mind. He presumed, with it being just being a, tur a frozen turkey crown, that it'd take maybe an hour, an hour and a half. No. Reading the instructions, it will take three hours to cook from frozen. Oopsie. So, <laughs> normally we eat at about one half one maybe on christmas day but no with making that big oopsie we didn't actually eat till about three o'clock christmas day dinner so yeah <laughs> never mind um so yeah we had some uh chit chats with family and 
phoned up to say our thank yous and yeah <laughs> so that passed a little bit of time uh, doing that so um yeah we just didn't realize how long the bird would take to cook so, never mind so then by the time we had eaten Christmas dinner we were all pretty much stuffed and just wanted to chill out for the afternoon so I think uh, the boys were playing on consoles with their new headsets um, I think me and my husband were just messing on our phones and missed one of the symbols just get that the symbol I was just doing and it popped out at me I thought I'd look round and seen and obviously didn't look carefully so yeah like I said the boys were playing on the consoles a little bit testing out the new headsets and me and my husband were just messing on our phones and just, you know, settling Christmas dinner and yeah, that's pretty much what we did for a couple of hours while we settled Christmas dinner. So let me get the next symbol, which is this one. Double dot, it looks a bit like a, an alien. Don't you just love giving um, names or things to the symbols on your canvas? So, yeah, I've got a little alien on my canvas now. <laughs> Never mind. Um, so yeah once we'd um settled christmas dinner down we played a game that we got from my sister it's called what's that smell so it's a bit like a scratch and sniff game you have to um pick a card and then you pass it round then to the rest of the group and we all have to try and guess what the smell is and also for an extra point you can put a funny story down you know if the smell reminded you of something or a story to tell so yeah we, we played that so that was really good like I said my sister got us a family game so yeah we played that and then I think that was maybe an hour or two something like that and then the boys decided they wanted to go back on the consoles so me and my husband said right well um start preparing some snacky bits for in a bit um, I think it was about six o'clock at this point everybody was saying they was a little bit hungry you know not enough for we don't want to sit down to a full meal again but you know some little snacky bits like, um, some sausage rolls some onion rings um, other party food bits that's what we did for Christmas Day later on. I wouldn't say it was tea time, but because we'd only just eaten at three, so I think this was about seven o'clock at that point. So yeah, we were getting a little bit peckish. Um, so yeah, we had had that about seven o'clock. Um, so yeah that was uh that was pretty much it for christmas day um so sort of by the time we'd finished eating that and um oh 
also a Christmas <laughs> Christmas day um, we like to have a bit of a drink at least one alcoholic drink on Christmas day and ours this year was a snowball so it's Advoca and lemonade uh, it's called a snowball so you put as much Advoca in as you want um, some people will do it half and half some people will do it a quarter and then three quarter three quarters um, so yeah just depends however you have it however strong you want it so I think we were having that while we were doing the veggies and stuff like that I think um, yeah so we had a little bit of a sip while we were doing veggies and then when, when we got all finished and organised we took it with us into the living room just to sit and chill and have a bit of a drink I think my husband is possibly home with the shopping so I do apologise the dog always goes crazy like that when he sees my husband's car pull up so I do apologise I do apologise for that ruckus So yeah, that was uh, pretty much Christmas Day. Right, let's try that again. I don't know why the dog always goes crazy when he sees my husband's car pull up. So again, I do apologise. So let's carry on. So yes. So... Um, the end of Christmas Day, um, like I said, we have those snacky bits, and I think we were watching the boys play on the consoles a little bit, and it got to about nine o'clock ish. I think my husband said, Right, we're gonna go up into our little crafty rooms and just have a bit of a sit and just. just have a bit of crafty time so I worked a little bit more on this um, I don't know what my husband um, I don't know what my husband did um, but our youngest ended up coming upstairs with us and he just laid in his bed I think he was watching his tablet YouTube or something possibly so our eldest just played on consoles and yeah we just chilled out in our own little rooms and yeah just ended Christmas day like that really um, so yeah that was uh, that was our Christmas day so then the next day, Saturday, Boxing Day, I did a recording of my presents. Um, I think in the morning I possibly did some cross stitch and my husband was shattered so he... Uh, I think he spent most of the morning in bed to be honest with you so I got quite a bit of cross stitching done that <laughs> boxing day morning but like I say I did the uh, boxing day unboxings so shown what I got for Christmas from everybody from my husband and the boys um, from family members YouTubers, uh, as 
some gifts from you guys. So, yeah, and then just spent the rest of the day in between eating, um, sort of working on Down Art Club, really. Like I say, I am really loving working on this. The diamonds are brilliant. I don't really have to look for tabs or multi diamonds or they are absolutely amazing these diamonds and they're round as well so it's uh, going pretty quick um, I haven't really tried multi placing on this with it just being a partial might be able to at some point I might give it a go and see see what it's like with the multiplacer but yeah so that was uh, pretty much boxing day I think late yeah that was pretty much boxing day um, <coughs> And then Sunday, yesterday, um, we just had a bit of a chill out day, uh, doing our own thing and yeah, just uh, crafting and just doing what we wanted to do. Uh, on their uh, phones and there's a little bit on the consoles and me up here doing a little bit of uh, cross stitching and diamond painting and had a really good natter with Christine yesterday we haven't talked much over Christmas really because it's Christmas you know time with family and so I just uh, thought yeah Boxing Day just contact Christine our own little family so I had a bit of, bit of a natter with her yesterday about 7 o'clock messaged her and just said uh, I'd be free for a chat and more or less straight away I got a message back, yes, yes, one tonata. So, uh, yeah, we, we did that and then uh, I think I um, settled down then for the night after that, got into bed and chilled out and so yeah that's um pretty much what i've done over the christmas uh, period so yeah i thought i'd just come on and do a little bit of uh diamond art club so i did say i was going to try and take the camera out of here so hopefully it won't freeze so let me just pull this back so that's the purple the orange the blue and then starting the red there and then I've got this green one here so let's bring this down so this is what I've done on the green so far to work all the way along to the end there and then down here then there is the other tree heads so yeah that's uh let me put this back in here and then i can show you 
the cross stitch. So that is Pumba so far. I really cannot do French knots, but um, yeah, some of the other characters there Tigger and Dumbo, there's Mowgli and Baloo, there's Sumper just hiding there, and like I say, I have got Winnie the Pooh. Just starting at the border at the bottom there. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for now, guys. So, that is my weekly catch up a day later than usual, but like I say yesterday, I was just absolutely shattered. So, yeah, once I'd finished on the phone with Christine, I thought, yeah, I'm going to get into bed now. I'm done. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So I shall uh, keep writing my notes and hopefully next Sunday I'll be able to do my catch up. If not, it could be the Monday. Um, but we'll just see how time goes and how time gets on and how I'm feeling as to when I do my next video so but um, just to let you know me and Penny are still going to go live on Wednesday I'm not sure what we're going to be doing it might be just another chit chat um, it might be just yeah just see how it goes but yeah if you have time please come and join us on wednesday it is two o'clock in the afternoon uk time which is usually is it about eight o'clock in america um that's what danielle keeps telling us anyway uh, the lovely danielle she joins us for every stream um she's, she's brilliant she comes along for every stream and um yeah so if you uh if you've got a spare afternoon a spare morning uh come and join us come and have a chit chat and so yeah i think i shall uh leave that there for today guys thank you for joining me uh thank you for the t taking the time to watch my videos and subscribing i looked at my subscriber numbers and i'm on 208 so possibly in the new year i shall be doing a giveaway um for hitting over 200 subscribers over the christmas period i think i looked at it just before christmas break and i was on 201 so i knew i'd hit the 200 mark but like i say checking it again today i'm on 208 subscribers so when we get into the new year watch out for a giveaway um so yeah i think i'm gonna leave it there for today guys and stop waffling on i've done 44 minutes wow <laughs> i didn't think i could just waffle on for that long but uh yeah notes do help um jog your memory of what you've been up to and what you've been doing and and things like that so yeah i think i shall leave it there for today guys hopefully see you on wednesday if you fancy popping in just for a little bit just even to say hi um but yeah i hope you guys have had a good and safe christmas um so yeah thank you for uh watching and remember guys in a world where you can be anything be kind bye guys <laughs>